It's been a long time since Ken and Lori found the colonial charmer that they hope to keep for a lifetime. We've been in this house 25 years, and it's wonderful having a house of this size. We've got three adult children now, a total of four grands. We have a niece who's living with us now. It's important to me to have the space available for whenever they come. The house is very old-style colonial, where you have nice-sized rooms, but they're all cut up from each other. Now when we have Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, we're in three or four different rooms. What I really want is this open space that when we walk into the home, we say, wow. When we see the grandchildren, I want them to have free run of the house, and I want to be able to see them. And I really don't want their parents to put me on grandparent probation because they get hurt. I really like this area. I really like the community. I think it fits our lifestyle. It's close to the tennis courts that I play at most often. Our kitchen is approaching 30 years old. When you go to these open homes and you see these islands, I think that's a key component of why I want to move. You look at the cabinetry. You look at the island. I want update current. I think with the right design that we could give her what she's looking for. The bathroom downstairs is small. The way you have to enter it is not even a comfortable way. Actually, it's not bad. All you need to do is, uh, yeah, see, it's pretty good. Really, Kenny? Really. The second floor. Let's start with the hallway bathroom. It's starting to look a little dingy, and I think that dinginess is due to its datedness, not the housekeeping. And I believe we could update that bathroom to make it more functional. Then there's our study. This is the room where we kind of drop everything, which creates yet another problem for me for when I want to start writing. Lori is a good writer. She's real passionate about writing, and she's passionate about family. Especially since our niece lives with us now, and she must walk through to get to her room. Just doesn't work. Totally dysfunctional. You can't even put your clothes in our closet. And it's not that because I have a lot of clothes. It's just the space is not there. What is your must-have list, Ken, to get you out of this house? We must have open concept. Uh, we'd also like a large living room to be able to entertain. We'd also like an updated kitchen with an island, three bedrooms. Okay, we need a main floor bedroom, three bathrooms, an office for my wife, uh, she loves to write, and something that's close to our church, and tennis courts. How close are you to your church currently? We could expand the range to 10 miles. OK, good. What's the budget? $350,000. I love this plan. I'm very excited. OK. I'm excited, too, because I think that this house is fantastic. But you tell me what I have to do to convince you, Laurie, that this is the place you should stay. These are my must-haves. Open and renovated kitchen, large island with seating, a nice big open living room, update flooring, update the guest bathroom, update the powder room, and finally, enlarge the master closet. All right, it all makes sense. What's my budget? Your budget is $70,000. What do you got for me? This is a home that Ken and Laurie need transformed because they're now empty nesters. You're good at that. But what that entails is a lot of walls coming down. Uh, what kind of budget are we working with on this one? Oh, 70000 Not right. huge, by any means. No, it's not. I think we can do this. And okay. let's start with the kitchen. I'm going to maintain that access point into the kitchen because it transitions through to the dining room. Ah. Stove stays here, sink stays here. Oh, that's good. This wall will be gone. This wall right. now will be open. The kitchen actually stays within the footprint that it has now. Other than this, what is there's this? a cupboard on this side. All right. There's a pantry on that side. Oh, so it's back I need to, back. to push the whole thing back to be counter depth because I want to put a great big island in oh. here. All right. Oh, and one more thing. This wall comes down for obvious reasons. This is their living room, which is tiny and cramped. She needs to keep an eye on the grandchildren. Right. And they need to know where she is. It's for everybody. Yeah, that's easy enough. All right, let's go. There's one more thing. You just said this was one more thing. Well, this is one more and more thing. It's a bathroom. Well, that's a little tight. Well, we're just going to change the swing of the door. That's it? We'll upgrade it as well. OK, let's get going. Let's get going. Where are we going now? All right, so. First thing off the top, we're replacing all the carpet, Oof, including obvious. the stairs, yeah. obviously, OK? Number two, we're going to upgrade the main bathroom. So the fixtures stay in exactly where they are? Everything stays oh, where it is. Oh, you're really watching all the budget. All right, all right, all right. All right, and here we get into the master. Laurie needs a proper closet, and this doesn't do it. I don't think the space is so bad. I just no. think I have to pull this out and completely redesign it. And then it'll be like a master closet. Yeah. Right. OK, that's what we're doing on the second floor. 
That's it. Okay, this is a cute house right here we're gonna look at. What do you think of that? I think it may be a little bit over our budget, though. So you see, David, it's really important that we be near tennis courts. He gets his activity on the tennis courts. That's nice, that's and nice. So... Let's check out this stroke here. Listen, I gotta tell you, he's not bad. But I also love that he likes this area. Yeah. He likes this tennis court, mm -hmm. which, you know, bodes well for us. Beautiful house, done from top to bottom. You won't have to lift a finger. I hope you like the way it's laid out. Nice house, but again, I think you missed on the open floor plan. There's no way he's gonna be able to find what we need at our price range. David served up a double fault with his last batch of houses. And unfortunately, Ken and Lori are about to get more bad news from Hillary. This is a bit of a problem. Okay, it's a big problem. This becomes much more complex because we've got these stairs which are structural and rerouting becomes doable but really costly. I don't have the extra money for this in my budget. Hillary, you're not giving me good news. If this has to stay in place, I can still give you an island that is way better than you had. I just don't have the wits anymore to be able to make it an island that you can have people sitting up to. This is why David is showing us open space. I still want to see if we can make it work. This is a setback. It's not a disaster. Hillary, I, I know that Lori's disappointed, but there may be one thing that we can do. I think if we could upgrade the office in this house, I think that would be able to turn Lori around. There you go. I like that idea. I have absolutely no idea where I can find space for this. If we don't get that office, I'm really afraid she's going to leave. OK, I got a great house for Ken and Lori. It's 2,900 square feet. A beautiful master bedroom on the main floor, two great bedrooms for the grandkids or guests, and a bathroom also for them. Open concept on the main floor, and upstairs, an incredible bonus room for the kids. It's a really nice house. Five miles away. Tennis. Let's go see the house. Let's do it. Come on. OK, David. Nice. I like that it flows so nice. It does. It does flow. Now, is this the open concept you're talking about? David, you got the open right this time. Beautiful yes. family room, yes. eat-in kitchen. Look at the size of that island. David, I have to give it to you. You found the openness I was looking for. And you got the nice screened-in porch. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful. The high ceilings. Ken, as you can see, there's enough room back there to build your own personal tennis court. I'm impressed. OK, let's have a look at the bedrooms. All right. Bedroom number one. So this is where we put the grandchildren. Bedroom Another number bedroom. two. OK. Two great bedrooms. You're stepping up your game. Main floor master bedroom. It's big enough. This, this is great. Yes, yes, yes. Plenty of storage yeah. for both of you, right? Absolutely. You can probably share this one with me. You've delivered again. And your master bath. This is really, really nice. For the grandkids, you got a play area. All righty. Couple more things to see. OK. And then we're, we're done. We're looking. Lori. Yes. Needs an office space. And this could work. You know what else it has? OK, I'm waiting. Direct access to uh, one of these. A bathroom right off of the office. I like that. I, don't, I think it's a pretty great house. It's yeah. a very, very nice house. Today. And I didn't hear any complaints out of you, I don't think, <laughs> once. I'm reserving my complaints for later. Well, the last thing we have to talk about is money. What do you think this house is listed at? $385,000. OK, what do you think? I'm going to go a little bit higher, I think $400,000. This house is listed at $375,000. $25,000 over your budget of $350,000. Wow. Wow. With a little negotiating, we can get that down a bit, and you've got a basically brand new house. Yes. I've kind of already made my decision. I, I think this house really has everything in it that we were looking for. All right. Come on in. Oh, wow. Look at this. Fantastic. This is beautiful. You can have eight comfortably in here for dinner. This is a great space for parties, entertaining with family yeah. and friends. This is great. And it flows right into this area, which is yes. your new family room and your living room. Correct. So you have full sets of open concept. Just the touches that you did. Love it. I didn't understand how you was going to make it work. 
But now, as I see everything is flowing, it makes a lot of sense. So why don't we go on into the kitchen? Oh, wow. Look at this kitchen. Wow. This is really this nice. This is really nice, Hillary. You now have a lovely sitting area right here. That, to compensate for not being able to give you the island that you wanted with everybody sitting up and congregating in the kitchen as a family. You have stepped up your game. And look at all the storage you have on this side. And again, in here, you've got connection with the family area. This openness is what I was looking for. Well, that's what you've got. But it actually feels larger now that the door goes out. Yeah. <laughs> it's much easier to get into. Wow. Wow. Great job. This little area has been solved simply by putting in a door that's a pocket door so it doesn't yes. open in and out of the space yes. and fixing that door. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Here is your office. This is simply fabulous. Fully open concept is great. Yes. But sometimes you'd like to have a room with a door on it. Yes. Yeah. Ah, no, this is, this is nice. wonderful. This is wonderful. So now we just have to deal with upstairs. Correct. Are you ready for that? Ready. ready. Let's go. Oh. Wow. This is just simply gorgeous. New cabinet, yeah. new yeah. toilet, new fixtures. The shower and everything is all new. It's just the original tub, tub. and the tiles all cleaned up and renewed. It's a very nice bathroom. Agree. agree. We're not done yet because we have to talk now about just you. Oh, wow. wow. Look so. at this storage. But we did steal almost 16 inches from the bathroom. OK. To give you what you're looking at there. This is now truly a master closet. Very, very nice. So that just leaves a master bath. OK, let's see what this looks like. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is wonderful. We're giving you a true master bathroom in that yes. there is a his and a hers. And look at this shower. Good. We were never using that tub anyway, so this works perfect. Decision made. Decision is made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to... Love it. Oh, wonderful. How come? Just curious. Well, David, you did an excellent job, but I think Hillary did such a super job with making this house look different and new. I just could not have imagined you would have done so much with this house.